Hey guys, how's it going? First time you've seen one of these in a while. A, and I really should have brought my towel in here. Sweaty vlog. I just finished my, and I'm gonna get to my point, because remember, all of my vlogs will be under 10 minutes from now on, and I will have an actual point. Um, I have not shot a video in probably a week, but I've been posting my other ones. Um, but I spent, how much? Uh, I spent like three hours in urgent care on Sunday. I, not to be melodramatic, <laughs> you went to urgent care because, you know, regular doctor's offices aren't open on um, Sunday. <sighs> but it was a week ago Sunday. So today is, what is today's date? Today is, why can't I see what the date is? Today's the 30th, so, and it's Tuesday, so that means it was like the, hold on, I gotta look at the calendar. <clears throat> so you guys know I had strep throat, right? And then first, let's just go back to see how this has all been building up. So first I got, and this is coming from the chick who says, I take vitamins, I never get sick. Sometimes you can learn a lesson like I have, which means that you're still not paying attention to your body. You're still kind of pushing it too hard. Um, and, and believe me, I never want to be here again. But remember, I was supposed to go on my vacation the week of February 14th, or I think. Um, had to stop and reschedule that because I was sick in bed. Was that when I had strep throat? No, I just had strep throat. Uh, I had the flu, basically, I think, if I remember. Um, I probably went, rescheduled my vacation too quickly, traveled, um, mixed business with um, pleasure, so I didn't really have a vacation. Um, you know, I push, 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 and I just don't stop. Um, and then um, came back. I don't know if I've traveled since then, um, but then, as you know, I got strep throat, which was <laughs> a bitch. Because um, I remember how that felt. It was just like horrible. And I was on antibiotics. Um, and of course, ladies, you know what happens when you go on antibiotics, you get another gift. Um, <laughs> and um, so I was on antibiotics for 10 days, took my full dose, listened to the doctor, blah, blah, blah. And then it was like two days after my last dose of the antibiotic, that, which was last Sunday, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, last Sunday, I woke up and I started to feel a cough again. And I remember just going, what the hell? I felt, you know, like took the antibiotics, felt great, felt better. And now I'm getting it again, that doesn't make any sense, you know? And um, so I remember that Sunday, Michael and I were gonna go train with uh, some of his dude friends at this gym. And I'm like, I can't go, I just feel sick again. So I stayed here in my house all day Sunday, rested, even though really the only thing that I felt that felt bad, I didn't have a fever, I didn't have a stomach ache, didn't have anything like that, just this dry, horrific cough. Um, and then, you know, I talked to a lot of people and they're like, oh yeah, I've had a cough for six weeks. And everybody was saying, oh yeah, you know, I've been sick for three months. And I'm like, what the, what's going, like, I am not that person that's just okay being sick for a long period of time. So anyway, um, the bad thing <laughs> about me is that I got sick Sunday and then I had this cough, nothing else, no other symptoms, just this dry, horrifically dry cough. Um, that, that kept getting worse. I was getting more hoarse and, and then when I would cough it would be like, <laughs> I mean, you know how you can, it, it just sounds like, uh, it sounds hoarse. So it just kept getting worse. I remember Wednesday I was totally getting to the point where it looked like I had laryngitis. I was losing my voice, um, but I kept working because I didn't feel really sick. You know, I didn't feel sick enough where I had to just go lay in bed and it's, it's hard for me to shut my mind off just to go to bed at night, let alone shut my mind off to take a nap when I have all this work to do. So here's the problem. All last week, I had this cough that just continued unabated. And I'll be with you in just one moment. Um, and so uh, by Thursday, it was, it was like just not going away and getting worse. <laughs> and I remember that Michael finally said to me, he's like, uh, remember when we were gonna get cough medicine? Like you were gonna take something? And my mom had said, Kelly, get Robitussin, it'll loosen up with ever in your chest, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes, and, and this is where I'm learning this lesson, like I don't stop and think, and I keep thinking, no, I'm fine, you know, I'm, I'm okay. And I'm not trying to be a martyr or anything, but I kept ignoring, you know, what was going on, thinking, oh, it's really not that bad. And the thing is, it obviously was, because I think Thursday night, went to Walmart, got Robitussin, started taking Robitussin, and I will say this, 
my memories from all of my younger years, whenever I have been sick and I've taken Robitussin, it does help you. I mean, it's usually a really great help. It'll help you loosen things up and then you can get it out of your system, not to be gross. But um, So I took Robitussin Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not better at all. No change. And I'm taking that disgusting cherry syrup Robitussin. I don't know why they don't make cough medicine in a flavor that is not cherry that makes you want to throw up all over yourself. However, so um, really by Sunday, which was two days ago, um, I got up and I'm like, this is ridiculous. I, I'm still sick a week later. It's, it definitely felt like it was getting worse. It was in my chest. And I'm like, this is crazy. And, and so I got up that day because again, we had plans to go train at this really cool gym. I'm like, I can't go. This is stupid. I, I'm obviously still sick. So I went to urgent care thinking like an idiot. I remember I left at like 930 Sunday morning and I'm like, I bet no one's there. I went and the doctor actually told me, he said, this is the busiest day we've ever had. Literally, the waiting room was full of people. I walked in and I'm like, sweet mother of God, can I pay these people to get to the front of the line? That's what I was thinking. So put my name down and they're like, there's eight people ahead of you. And I'm thinking, okay. But I knew if I left, you know, and tried to come back the next day, that's stupid. So I had to suck it up, but I did go back. <laughs> I can't lie. I went back and I got my tablet and I got my uh, laptop because they had free Wi-Fi. So I did get some work done. People, I was just sitting there waiting. There was nothing else to do. So that said, went to the doctor. I've taken six minutes to tell you this story. I'm, I hope you like this vlog that's all about me being sick. Um, and I have walking pneumonia. So, good times. Um, the worst part about that is that uh, the cough was bad and it was obviously getting worse and I knew I needed medicine, but he's like, well, you know, and this was, um, I told him that I just had strep throat and that I had been on antibiotics, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, you know, what you took for strep throat, I think it's amoxicillin. He said, when you take that, it knocks out strep throat. But if you get sick after that, you know, this is what you have and we have to give you some really strong stuff. And he said, you got to take biaxin. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, it's been so long since I've been on medication, other than what I take regularly to balance my hormones. Um, I just was like, it's a pill. You know, you take a pill. I wasn't realizing that. Let me just tell you people, Biaxin is your worst nightmare. <laughs> Seriously. And I um, honestly, so he's like, well, you know, let me tell you some of the side effects. Um, he was telling me about a metal aftertaste in your mouth, so, you know, stomach pain, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the prescription and let me get. So he's like, and I'm also going to give you this cough syrup uh, medication that has codeine in it because the cough syrup you've been taking, unless it has codeine, it's not going to work. So I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hearing a lot of this. I want to hear this. Give me the paper and let me go. Um, I'm a little impatient, as you can tell. So he gave me this stuff. Let me just tell you people. This stuff, this, I'm just gonna, let me just show you as if it matters because these pills are the devil. This is like taking an alien and letting it give life inside of your body. O-M-G. I don't think I've ever taken by accident in my life because I would remember this pain. I took it Sunday and felt fine, felt fine. I was up all Sunday night, literally. Have you ever seen that movie Alien? If you have, you know what I'm talking about, where like the, the alien grows inside your stomach and then it's like, ah! that's how I felt for two days where, and it actually, I'll tell you this, it exactly the kind of stomach churning where your stomach is just in knots and, and you feel nauseated, but you know you're not gonna throw up, but you just have this churning in your stomach. And it's like, you wanna eat something to feel better, like bread or oatmeal, or I did get some Kentucky Fried Chicken mashed potatoes with no gravy, which is my favorite. Um, but then you eat and, this, and, and you have a 50-50 chance of the stomach going, ah, ah, why'd you feed me? Or it's like, oh, okay, okay, and you never know. And so this alien life form has been inside me and for two days, I was up all Sunday night running out here going, oh my God, you know, something to just make the stomach pain go away. Like the stomach pain from the stupid medication, which is a very common side effect apparently, and the metal aftertaste, I feel like I'm eating my kitchen sink. That's, or that refrigerator. You see that stainless steel refrigerator? Stainless steel is metal, right? That's what I feel like is in my mouth. Let me just tell you something, people. This is obviously strong stuff because here it is. What is today? Today's Tuesday, um, obviously. I got up today and I woke up, slept in until almost 10 a.m. Um, I've been letting myself sleep and I'm almost at 10 minutes, I gotta shut up. 
um, got up today and I, number one, slept through the whole night with no stomach cramps. Um, at the moment, right now, I don't have, like I walked around, had some water, don't have any stomach cramps. I can't lie, I am scared to take my first dose. Like I'm hoping, because I have seven more days of this, I'm hoping that I don't go and have to deal with these, these stomach cramps, you pe people. In light of the big sickness in the world, it's nothing, but it was horribly, horribly, horribly not fun. And I don't want to have it anymore. And I don't want to be eating Kentucky Fried Chicken, mashed potatoes, and nothing else for eight days. Back to what I was saying the pain felt like. It felt exactly like the one time that I had, um, I'd gotten uh, salmonella poisoning from a restaurant. And I couldn't eat anything but like muffins, muffins or like light bread for, for literally like five weeks. I'm not even lying. That's the worst, you know. Um, so it just made me really appreciate good health that I did get up today. And I just feel, I, I still have a little bit of a cough left. I know I'm not like completely better, but I, I really wanted to work out. So of course my mom, my mom and dad are like, don't work out, you're crazy. And I had asked the doctor when I left if it was okay to work out. I asked the doctor if I was contagious and I asked if I could work out and he said it was okay. So what I did was 45 minutes of turbo fire and I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna take my pill, have my breakfast. Let's all pray for Kelly and let's just hope that um, it is not going to be, at the end of the day, it's not, I mean, I can deal with it. It's just horrifically uncomfortable. Like I said, you just feel like, I feel like I have a metal alien inside my stomach that's like, I'm going to hurt you. And you just have to sit there like, yeah, it's just in my stomach. It's okay. No headache, no other th symptoms, no nothing. It's the freakiest thing ever. That said, all I'm going to tell you is I'm looking back over this first 90 days of the year and realizing that there were several times that it was very clear to me that I was getting um, run down. I remember when I went out to Baltimore and um, Jamie and I were supposed to go do yoga and I was like, I need to sleep. You know, I really have to pay more attention um, to my sleep and my rest and my health because even if you are proactive and you take all of your vitamins and whatnot, you can still get sick. And being sick sucks. Good health is great. So that's your lesson learned from me. Pay attention to your body and take care of yourself. But let's hope that I'm back and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the sweaty mess.